I see why he's wanting these limbs cut now for Chris. Do you ought to see the leaves that are, on, that are packed right here between the awning and the eave right there? Yeah, it's bad. It's really bad. So we're going to take these two limbs, that one right there, and we're going to get that one out of this tree. Leave the tree standing. We got a walk through gate. We, right here is all we got to work with. And we matted in here this morning to get in here too. Show y'all what we got. We got a redirect right there. There's a pencil pulley right there. There's another pulley over yonder. And then there's one more right there. Chris is working this stuff by hand as we get this off this roof. I'm keeping the pieces small where he can handle them. And, uh, and then we got two wires right there. We got a service wire, phone line. So we're trying to get these to land right here. So far it's worked out pretty good. Yeah, are you ready? All right, that one's a little bit more on the roof than the other one was down there. And go down and cut it if I have to. There you go. Let that the butt of it on down, and it'll it'll roll it where it'll come off. There, there you go. Keep on going with it. There you go. What it does, see, it lifts it, lifts that top, and gets it off of that awning, see, and then it'll just flip right off. Nice. We got her opened up up there now, dude. Look there. That's what I'm talking about. We'll see if she'll do that or not. y'all over to here. We just hold it. Boy, we missed that line by about an inch, right? I seen that. I should have cut it a little bit further back, but we made it though. Yeah, oh yeah. Nope. Nope, nope. We got her though. If it fits, it shifts, right? Right. There you go. You can take and tote it all the way across that yard if you want to, and don't even let it hit the ground. Oh, no, don't, Whoa, don't yeah. <laughs> let's let's not do that. You better. <laughs> so far, we hadn't tore the phone line down yet. Yep. Been doing good. There you go. You can carry it back there toward that Lowe's bucket. That would be nice. There you go. Just watch that one limb. It's kind of not on the one you're connected to, but that other one there on that line. Yeah, you do. He forgot all about it. He ready to be over I know. So we got them done. Uh, I think them all the way down. I gotta go all the way back up. I gotta get my pulley up yonder. I'm just, yeah, I'm just glad I ain't pulled the pulled the lift out, and then looked up there and seen them sitting up yonder. Dude, that that rope's so ratty, man. Right, look right there above that fork. Look at that spot in it. It's time. 
And down. Yeah. I'd hate to know how many lifts that thing has made and how many drops that thing's made. Of course, we didn't handle anything real big on this, no how, but. Yeah. Yeah, I ain't leaving a $300 pulley in a $75 ultra sling up here in the tree. <laughs> yeah, or the other one down there. There's a thousand dollars between that stuff right there. All right, yeah, you got the knot out of it. Yeah, 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 no, right. I was just doing, I was asking that to just see how smart you were, is what I was doing. So you passed the test, man. <laughs> and we didn't even. We bumped the phone line a time or two. We never knocked it down, so that's a good thing. Yeah, it is. Because it took a pretty good lick on that one. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. It's all good. Get this green one down here. Yeah, it'll go pretty quick. Let's reach over and get a get a couple of things out. Yeah, you're gonna have to back that uh back that truck up. Grab that pulley off the front of it too. Oh you already done got it? Okay. Okay. Kind of tweak on a little bit, worked pretty good, but just needs a little tweaking. This is what it looks like, y'all. This old ground right here is rotten. God, no, what you talking about? Could not have done it without the mats. So there's a tree, the limbs are going on it now. So they had about done lost this roof on this house, y'all. That up yonder done started rotting around that weather head. And then across where that awning comes up, it was BAD bad and still is. That entire awning right there is slap. This is solid leaves. That's what I got off the roof right there. And then behind the chimney was bad too. They got the they're gonna do something about that. They're gonna lose that roof. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it looks like with the mats up. You can't even want to walk on that. I think they've got a seat on the water main out here. Is the reason why this stays so wet? Because I was here in. Uh, July, I think it was two years ago. We tried to do this thing, and, and I went to back to Chipper, and it just sunk right there. And that was in July, and then he wanted it. He came back, wanted it done. I was like, we'll do it. We'll matter our way in there and get her done. So that's it right there, y'all.
Why didn't I chip that job? <laughs> so two years ago when me and Chris rolled in there to do it, it was me and Chris and Hunter and his whole crew. We we're actually going to take another tree down in the backyard back here too. <laughs> and I was going, all I had was that walkthrough gate and I was going back the chipper all the way up there to that gate. And I'm telling you, I sell, it was like July. I backed off that concrete with that chipper and that thing went to the axle. Um, just gone. And the guy that owned it said, uh, he said, man, I, I think that, he said, I, I really feel like there's always been a water seat right out here on this water main and, and it, stay, it stays wet. He said, even during the summertime, it stays wet. So I haggled back and forth with him and I texted him about doing a job and he'd, he'd blow me off. It's too wet, too wet, too wet, you know. So I finally just forgot, I just said, forget it. And I just marked him completely off of my to-do list, you know. So lo and behold, we roll through. We get to uh, about two weeks ago or so, I guess, right toward the, right for the first of the year. He sends me a message. He said, hey, I want to get you back over here and need to see about getting something done with these trees. And I said, hmm, okay. Well, it's wet as heck now, you know, and I'm thinking, all right. So, so I've got mats now and... Uh, met with him. He said, I need to get this done. Well, I think I got a hankering. I figure that that is leaking. Um, I know that awning is when the water comes off the house, I know it's pushing it backwards and it's running down in there. I know that, but I have a pretty good suspicion that it might be leaking around that weather head too. Cause man, I should have showed it, but uh, around that weather head from where that stuff had set on it, so long it had actually then decomposed so much that it had turned to mud underneath those leaves and when i took them leaves off of it you, you could smell it you, know, you could you could smell it and man i'm gonna tell you trees are trees are nice they're pretty i love trees i make a lot of money off trees but trees and houses don't mix uh, if, especially if they're up close, the root system on them, uh, your driveway, sidewalks, um, your roost, the, the leaves coming off of them. A house needs to breathe. So when it rains and it gets wet, it needs to breathe. If you got enough trees around it, 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 it won't dry out. It stays there a long time. That's where the, the mildew and all that guard comes from. But in those awnings, aluminum awnings, I am not a fan of those things at all. They're... The way that they're designed, water runs out to the end of them. They got a little bit of fall on them. And then that end cap is basically the gutter. So what happens is if the leaves run out there and they get inside that end cap, they're not like a normal gutter where you can just reach over in there and you can take a blower and blow that sun gun out. You can't do that on them awnings. They, they, the way that cap is designed on them, those, the cap is kind of like a, like a C fitting over it. The leaves run off and they get inside there. And the only way you can clean that thing out is if you pull that cap off. And once that thing gets packed full of leaves, man, that water ain't going to go nowhere, you know, down down through it like it's supposed to. But again, I make a lot of money off of those things like that. So I'm, I'm not complaining. If you notice in any of my videos, when you watch them when I'm outside, there's not a tree nowhere near my house. No siree, Bob, my house may get destroyed by a tornado, but it ain't going to be because a tree fell on it because a storm pushed it over on it. Mm -mm, not happening. So those of y'all who follow me on Instagram, I did a kick butt job today. Uh, I did a pretty good size rip rat job. Turned out fantastic too. It's going to be a good video from that. But So this one here, me and Chris rolled in there. We were only there a few hours and matted in, come back out and uh was on our way why i didn't chip well i knew that i could get it all on the dump trailer so it wasn't no need of me taking a chip repair because i had done that was one of those bad juju jobs and when you got bad juju jobs you it ones that have got you in the past you you go back load it a different way you know what i mean and so uh when taking the chipper up there this time, because I was going to have to, if I had chipped, I would have had to chip in the road and it just, it wasn't going to work. And I knew I could get it in the dump trailer. I just barely got it in the dump trailer. I can't stand hauling limbs, man. I just, it, you just, 
you put some and it wasn't that much. You put a little, and you see in the end there, the thing don't try to slap full. And it's not that much in it. If you chipped it, it wouldn't have been a quarter of a, if it would have been a quarter of a load, but Lord have mercy. Uh, I don't like hauling them. So, uh, <laughs> hope y'all have a good evening. Good weekend this weekend. Not sure what I'm going to post tomorrow. I'll figure it out. We'll catch y'all later. Later, taters. Oh, got my monkey beaver saddle in today. Those of you who don't know what a monkey beaver saddle is, you're soon fixing to find out what it is, but it came in today. I ain't even opened the box on it yet. So about to go unbox it and do it on film. See y'all. Later, taters.